This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network, and we're a proud media sponsor for the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Europe, which is being held virtually this year. Joining me right now is Cesar Gonzalez. He is the co-founder of Sailfish Royalty Corp. It's a publicly traded company. The symbols are F-I-S-H, Fish, on the TSX Venture, and S-R-O-Y-F on the OTCQX. Cesar, thank you for joining me today. How are you doing? Thank you for having me, Robert. And I wish I could take credit for that uh, ticker, the fish, but it was actually my partner, Akiva Leastman, who picked that one out. Nice. I, I'm just, I'm happy for you guys that it was available. <laughs> so, so let's get started here with a quick overview in history of Sailfish. Okay, thank you. So Sailfish was created by my partner, Akiva Leastman and I in 2014. It was an opportunistic loan that we made to a development company with an asset in Nicaragua, a very high grade asset. And we, uh, we wanted to help advance the project. And so we structured a stream. I called it a loan, but a stream is actually that a loan with the ability to be repaid in gold. And it was a very, it was a very strict loan. I should, let me put it that way. It was restructured by us in 2018 to facilitate the merger between uh, our sister company, Mako, another fish, a shark, and, and Golden Rain, which is the company that had this uh, asset in Nicaragua that, um, that created Sailfish. And in facilitating that, that transaction, we reduced the stream to something more palatable, equivalent to a 3% NSR, and a 2% NSR in, with the, in the area surrounding that, that first area of interest. And um, you know that was 2018, today is 2020, we're getting close to the end of the year, and that asset is now months away from production. January 2021, we should be having first port at uh, Nic in Nicaragua, and the cash flow to Sailfish will go from a trickle to um, a lot more than a trickle. So uh, we have one royalty that's paying today out of Mexico, and this royalty in Nicaragua is set to start next year, early next year, and Cesar, you know, I've, I've done a number of interviews with royalty companies uh, on here. So I'm, I'm very curious, what, what would you say makes Sailfish unique and different compared to some of your peers out there? So Sailfish was created, as I said, by my partner, Akiva Leesman and I. And we spent over a decade working for investment funds. Akiva came from Red Kite, which is the pre predecessor to Orion Mind Finance. I was at Lehman Brothers and then at Wexford. I've been at Wexford for over 12 and a half years, specialist investing in natural resources. And when we created this company, we wanted to create a company that was for investors. Uh, a lot of these uh, small cap companies in the resource sector are, are overly burdened with GNA and it stops the company from achieving its full potential in the early days. Um, we have decided to build a company that is very low GNA. I take no salary. My partner takes no salary. We get paid in equity compensation, stock options primarily. And that's, that's the, the way we want to run this. Um, every bit of excess cash over the last two years has been used to repurchase shares. So I, I think that really sets us apart and we're proud of that. Uh, the competitive landscape in royalties is uh, quite intense today. So you, you haven't seen us do too much. We, we have three big royalties in our portfolio, a couple small ones and a silver property. But um, right now, I think we're better sellers than we are buyers. And, and you know, you, you briefly spoke about your background here. So can you, can you go into that a little bit more? So you, you were at a fund prior to joining and, and founding Sailfish. You know, what, what got you into resources and, and your inspiration behind then leaving that fund and then going into Sailfish? Sure. So we were sitting around at Wexford uh, during the decline in the precious metals market, really started in 2012. We had been passive investors and we had some outsized positions in our portfolio, you know, positions where we owned more than 10% of the stock, where we thought, you know, let's, uh, let's go all in. Let's support these companies. Let's be greater than 20% shareholders if we need to be. Let's take board seats. And eventually that morphed into us actually taking officer roles inside of these companies, because when we are putting in the majority of the capital, we don't just want to be at a, at a board meeting approving budgets. We want to be creating the budgets and having input on a day-to-day -day basis. So Sailfish was actually spun out of a company called Marlin Gold Mining LTD that was operating a, a mine in Mexico. And being investors, we weren't satisfied with simply 
being an operator and in, in the gold miner, when we saw royalty opportunities, we took advantage of those. We were very opportunistic. And so Sailfish was spun out of Marley in December of 2017. It started trading in January of 2018. And uh, that was really the start of this company. And Caesar, from what you can tell us, what would you say are some of the company's value catalysts now for the rest of this year going into 2021? At the top of the list would be production from San Albino, where we have a 3% royalty. At today's gold prices and a 40,000 ounce a year run rate, that's equivalent to about two and a half million US dollars. And that's a, that's a major catalyst because up to this point, we've been receiving cash flow from a small royalty that we have. It's a one and a half percent NSR on a small mine in Mexico, silver and gold. And that has really been money that's used to, be, to keep the lights on. But going from about 150 to 200,000 a year of royalty cash flow to two and a half million plus is a big step change. And if any investor has been following our company, they know that with all the excess cash we've had on our balance sheet, it's gone to share repurchases. And um, you know they shouldn't expect anything different once that cash comes from San Albino. Very good. Well, Caesar, where can our audience then go and find everything they need to know to follow along the Sailfish Royalty story? We have a website, sailfishroyalty.com. Uh, we hired an IR firm this year as well, which we're very happy with. That's Deb Honig at Adelaide. She has a, a website as well, and she has a, a Twitter page set up for the company. She has a, a LinkedIn profile. So we're trying to, to get, a, get the story out there. Very good. Well, Caesar, thank you so much for taking the time to do this interview with me today. Good luck. Stay safe. And I look forward to our next update. Thank you so much, Robert. Thank you. Again, my name is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network, and we're a proud media sponsor for the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Europe being held virtually this year. Caesar will be there giving a presentation on Sailfish, and thank you all for watching.